Hello everyone. It's Mac. It's been a minute since I've been on. But um I've had a lot of things going on. All of it is not um necessarily um bad, but I just been really really uh busy and and consumed, but anyway, just wanted to give you some updates about my transformation and um again, the transformation is mind, soul, body and spirit. So I hadn't had time to really sit down and just kind of, um, I guess, process my thoughts and everything. But um, yesterday, as of yesterday, I am officially separated from my husband. That was something that um, I think the last time that I had recorded that I had become aware that there was more to me losing weight than just or I was carrying around more weights than just the actual, I guess, body weight. There were emotional weights. It was weights from um, dysfunctional relationships that I had failed to, I guess, acknowledge or I had failed to deal with. And so as of yesterday, um, my husband and I are separated. He has his... Um, own place and this is the thing about this separation it didn't have anything to do with the uh, the lack of love on my part but I just knew so I wasn't myself and when I came to terms that you know what life is too short and if I continue down this path then I'm choosing to live in unhappiness or the lack of peace and so I can't say that you know we should make other people responsible for our own happiness but even though it was a painful decision and a hurtful decision on my part it's like you know coming to terms with the fact that you got to do something different this is not working the relationship was very very um toxic I lost a lot of confidence I had um pretty much felt like I was losing myself and and pretty much had and so my heart hurts but I'm confident in a decision that I made and the ability to make that decision because we can choose you know and I decided to choose life um and I don't want to make the video, the video about, you know, blame, blaming anybody about anything. But, um, you know, yeah, I had my moments to where I cry because you never go in a relationship looking for it to fail. I'm looking for it to not go the way that you had intended. And so tomorrow is um, Valentine's Day. And this is the first time that I have been... I guess okay with being single, you know, okay with being by myself, okay with, um, you know, not having someone because, you know, I realize the older I get, it's better to be happy and alone and it with peace and alone and, um, you know, than to be in, in emotional turmoil or confusion or just constant chaos. And so, um, and it's a sad thing when you're at home or you're in a house, but you're not at home or you're not at rest or you're not at peace. I had a conversation with a friend yesterday and she was like, you know, um, it's something when you're at home, but you're not at home or you're in a house, but you tiptoeing around your own house and not a bad person at all, but just wasn't good for me and I wasn't good for him. And so our last conversation that we had, it was about, you know, what I wasn't doing. And I'm like, you know what? I don't think I want to keep trying to meet a standard that seems to be unobtainable. But anyway, I just wanted to give some updates. Um, I'm finally starting to see some results as far as losing weight. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I got a lot more, a lot more. But anyway, you know, um, the first time I've been excited about facing tomorrow. That was a song my mama used to um, say, um, because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Anyway, um, 
but being able to face because guess what this pain that I feel in my heart I know that it would heal and but it was a constant pain every day you know in my mind my heart you know just I wasn't happy you know I just wasn't happy I know I'm rambling but um love shouldn't really hurt and though you have your ups and your downs, it's like, wait a minute, this isn't love. I love you, but this, 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 this isn't the will of God. But anyway, um, but yeah, I'm excited about what the future holds. What the future holds. What the future holds. Um, wow, I don't even know what to say. I feel like it was. It was truly necessary. God knows, you know, I pray for him and and um, want the best for him. And, um, you know, I want him happy. And I realized I wasn't making him happy. And so, but anyway.